Oh, okay, now this should be good. Hey everybody, my name is Clay. Hi, neighbor Sue here. And today we're gonna check out the dingoes. Now, uh, we got into King Gizzard, not knowing how much we were gonna love that band, and not knowing how much we would fall in love with Ambrose and his voice. And then we found Turns out Turns out. Yeah, Ambrose has a father who was also a singer and harmonica player. In this band, the Dingoes, from back in 1973. This is a song called Way Out West. I was born in 74, so like, this is probably- 72, like, I was yeah. one years old when this was out. Yeah, this yeah. is cool, all right. You yeah. were just dating. Yes. Oh. what the harmonica's for. We out west where the rain don't fall. Got a job with a company drilling for oil just to make some bread. Living and working on the land. I hear it a little. Oh, there's such a nice resemblance to them physically. They give you a house made of fiber cement. You don't need no money because you don't have no rent. Yeah, it's all so cheap. Living and working on the land. Dude, yeah. I can hear Ambrose singing this. Do you hear the blues? Yeah. It's hard, but the bay is good. Wow. Another very unique, beautiful voice. There's like a similarity in the vocal hook, more than the voice. the circle wipe with him in the middle. 1970s TV, man. Those are super. That's his forehead. Look, the director is like, keep the keyboard to in. Yeah. Oh, now like, bring him full. This is so awesome, man. Oh, they have the same cheekbones. Down here, jawbones. They do. No, I, yeah, but Dude, I love this song. I wonder if maybe the Murlocs will cover his dad's tunes and the, and the Dingo's tunes. I can, hear them, I can hear the Murlocs doing a cover of this easily. God, they should. That's great. I love this, man. It's catchy. It's good. It's great. That was really good, man. That was really good, man. See, he's a front man, just like his dad. Yeah. He's a solid front man. Does a little bit of everything. Wow, man. Beautiful. I would like to that watch That made me more. a little kind of sad a little bit hearing that, you know? Oh, uh, like, uh, yeah. Man, just Knowing like, that he's grieving his dad right now. Like, well, no, not even that. Like, wow. just 
the the miracle that the torch has been passed like the fact that his father could sing like that and play and like you can hear like like There's i said so like it's not even genetics. like it's not even like the it, it it it's almost like a vocal hook that you could hear ambrose would have come up with it more than it is his voice sounds like his it's dad's. A nuance. it's not that they're musician it, musicians they are just who they are it, it's like yeah. yes it's man. beautiful uh, yeah Cellular. i don't know it's something you can't really put your finger on there it is again there's that Every time with the Murlocs, man. But but that song in and of itself was a really fun song, man. Mm. I, I would listen to that. I would put that on rotation. Why not? You with know his I mean? little like twang that mm. live in the line. Like, yeah, that would be good. something interesting with his. Very cool. I didn't expect that. I, I thought it was going to be more of a 60s sound. Yeah. The way it opened up and the way the setup was. But it turned out to be more of like a country western style. This is what my parents listened to bit, in the yeah. early 70s. Like when I was a kid, they had country bands on the porch all the time. Yeah. And this is what it sounded like. There was the string guitar, right. the guy who play, always sitting on the porch. I knew where he sat. Like they were, like so I'm used to like those really cool old school western need type like sounds. I love that music. Yeah, that was fun, man. God, I'm really like glad Conway we listened to that. Years, you know what I mean? That's yeah. kind of where it took me. Yeah. Where, love it. Yeah, that was fun, man. Love it. Good one. All right, you got to come to Halloween karaoke, though. I don't know. Just look through the window at us. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to be a stupid mummy. I know you're going to be a stripper a stripper mummy? No, stupid, stupid. Oh, stupid. Stupid. So you said stripper mummy. I'm, I'm thinking I might do, like, the dead face, like the skull Like face. you did last year? No. I was pretty. You did that last year, though. I was the day of the dead. I was pretty. Right, yeah. Are you going to do, like, I had a... Mandela's and stuff on Correct. You're going to do it completely different this no, year. No, this is just death. Just death. Okay. I'm a sarcophagus. Death could suit you. I could see that. Carcophagus. What a mummified. Carcophagus. Sarcophagus. <laughs> Carcophagus. No. Yeah. Sarcophagus. You say. Sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. <laughs> you just said it right. Let me listen. Sarcophagus. Say it again. The sarcophagus. Sarcophagus? That's not right. <laughs> you know. Why do you want to even say that word in the first place? Because I'm going to be a sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. I'm going to be a mummy. Okay. For Halloween. <laughs> sarcophagus. I'm going to be that dead girl over there wrapped in linens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go with the dingoes. Sarcophagus. Here we go. Oh. 